CNN Films executives asked Meghan Markle to leave the Chowchilla Kidnapping Movie Center in California, citing that she didn't belong there. Meghan Markle faced allegations of attempting to seize the spotlight during the premiere of a documentary focused on the 1976 Chowchilla Kidnapping, a tragic incident where 26 children and their bus driver were kidnapped and buried alive in a quarry. The former actress, who now resides in California with her husband, made an uninvited appearance at the screening of CNN Films Chowchilla on Sunday, December 3, at the Manito Cinema. Sources revealed that Megan's presence was unwelcome, not only by the filmmakers but also by the survivors of the kidnapping, who believed she was exploiting their traumatic experience for her own publicity. Critics argued that Megan had no legitimate reason to attend and accused her of prioritizing her public image over the lives of the 26 people involved in the kidnapping. One survivor expressed their displeasure, saying that Megan tried to mingle with the crowd and take photos but was met with cold receptions and disapproving stares. The survivor emphasized that Megan had not endured anything remotely similar to what they had experienced and regarded her as a privileged Hollywood star who had married into royalty. The situation escalated when the executive producers of the documentary confronted Meghan and asked her to leave. They emphasized that the event was about the survivors and the people who had endured and overcome the kidnapping, not about her. Meghan reportedly left the cinema escorted by her security team and did not make any public comments. A spokesperson for the Sussexes did not respond to requests for comment. The documentary Chowchilla, directed by Max, delves into the unsettling mass kidnapping that unfolded in Chowchilla, California, on July 15, 1976. Three armed men hijacked a school bus carrying 26 children and their driver, Frank Edward Ray, taking them to a remote quarry in Livermore. There, they placed them inside a buried moving truck equipped with limited supplies. The kidnappers had planned to demand a $5 million ransom, but their calls went unanswered. After approximately 16 hours underground, Ray and the children managed to dig themselves out and escape, all of them surviving. The kidnappers were subsequently apprehended and sentenced to life in prison. The documentary features interviews with survivors who recount their harrowing memories and the enduring impact of the ordeal on their lives. It also explores the motivations and backgrounds of the kidnappers, who came from affluent families. While the film has garnered critical acclaim and received multiple award nominations, Meghan Markle faced criticism for her perceived lack of empathy and sensitivity toward the Chowchilla kidnapping victims. Many accused her of using the documentary as a platform to promote her personal agenda and image while disregarding the genuine emotions and concerns of those who lived through the ordeal. Additionally, some questioned her decision to wear a red poppy pin, a symbol of remembrance for fallen soldiers of the British Commonwealth at an event unrelated to the military or the UK.